Hi friends, welcome to Taming Python series. In this video, we're going to talk about how to use blueprints in Flask for modular MVC-like Flask web applications. So what is a Flask blueprint? A group of multiple Flask routes can be segregated as a Flask blueprint. And each blueprint can be used like an MVC controller by registering each blueprint at a URL prefix in a Flask application. So basically you can group multiple routes as a single blueprint. So one of the main advantage I felt by using the blueprints is basically your server.py file becomes very thin because all your routes are being moved to a blueprint file. And one more awesome advantage of using blueprints is you can easily generate URLs for blueprint routes using URL for function. And we're gonna see how that works in this video. So let's see how we can create a Flask blueprint. So Flask blueprint can be created in a simple Python file and first you need to create the blueprint object so i have taken the blueprint class from the flask module and created an object of this blueprint class so you need to give the blueprint name and the module name so module name you can just give underscore underscore name and this is the name of the blueprint here the name of the blueprint is books once i created the blueprint object i am mounting route straight so you can see i have got the route slash and i have got the route slash int id so these two routes have been mounted onto this flask blueprint and that's it now i got a flask blueprint so here you can see i'm not creating the flask application i'm not making the flask application reason at localhost some port or something like that it's just routes being segregated as a blueprint so this is a very nice way of segregating routes in a flask application so that they can stay organized and segregated as per the routing functions that means i can create a books controller authors controller etc and using this blueprint gives a developer experience something like an mvc controller in dotnet or django all right now i have created a flask blueprint how can i register this blueprint in the flask application so this is a normal flask application and i have imported the blueprint from the python file and i am using app.register blueprint and i am adding that blueprint to the application and i am giving the url prefix as slash books that means all these blueprint routes will come under this url prefix called books that means in order to access this route, you have to write the site slash books slash. And in order to access this route, you have to write the site address slash books slash ID. One more advantage of using blueprints is basically you can avoid common prefixes of multiple routes and mount them under the URL prefix. So I'm not writing slash books slash and slash books slash ID here. I'm just writing slash and slash ID and in the end i am telling that the url prefix should be books all right let's get started with coding i'm going to take a blank folder and i'm going to open it with vs code i'm going to create a new file i'll just name it server.py so this is a very simple server.py file which is a flask application so here i'm using the flask module and importing the flask class and using this flask class i'm creating an instance of a flask server and i'm making this server run at localhost port 5000 and saying debug equal to 2 so that i can easily debug my errors and I'm creating a route at this Flask application using this app.route decorator. And since I'm giving slash, this will be the home page. And here I'm having the function index, which will act as a route. And it is rendering a template called home.html. But still, I did not create this home.html. So let's try to go ahead and create this home.html file. So as for the Flask conventions, I have to create a templates folder. So I'll write templates. And in this templates folder, I'll just create a new file called home.html. And let's try to create a normal HTML file and let's say hello world all right this is a home.html file and we are rendering that here so if i run this application i have to see home.html in the home page so let's try to save this and run this python flask server and i will open the url localhost 500 and here you can see hello world being printed all right now let's try to create a blueprint so i'll just create a new folder called source because i want my source code inside the source folder and inside this i want to create a new folder called controllers because blueprints are like mvc controllers and inside the controllers folder i'll just create a new file called books.py so i'm trying to mimic an mvc workflow something like dotnet or django so this books.py will be a flask blueprint so let's try to import the blueprint class from the flask model so i'll just write from flask import blueprint and let's try to create an instance of the blueprint class so since it's a books controller i'll just create a variable called books controller and it will be an instance of a blueprint class and the first argument will be the name of the blueprint class so i'll just write the books and the import name will be name so it's gonna be the file name 
and that's it i've created a blueprint so now let's go ahead and create some routes and mount to this blueprint so first i'm going to create a function called list so basically this function should render a page which can render a list of books so first let me try to import the render template function from flask and i'm going to use this render template and write render template so it's going to return the render template right return render template i'm going to write books slash list dot html and since it's going to be a route so i have to annotate it right so i'll just write books controller dot route of slash that means this route will be hosted at the root url of this blueprint so it's just like a flask route instead of writing app i'm going to write the blueprint that's all and here i have written render template book slash list dot html but i don't have the list dot html ready right so i'll just go to the templates folder create a new folder called books and i'm going to create a new file called list dot html and let's try to copy the content from home i'll just copy this and paste it here and here i'm going to write list of books so i got my template slash books slash list dot html ready so inside the books controller i can render this book slash list dot html and let's try to create another route i'm going to copy this and paste it and this is going to be a get item page that means this route will show the list of all books and this route will show the details of a single book so it's going to be at the url route slash int id that means the segment after this url will be extracted and mentioned into a variable called id and this id should be an integer value so i will get a variable here called id and it's going to be an integer so even at this route i'm going to render a template and this is going to be books slash detail dot html and i can pass variables into the template right so i'll just write id equal to id so for this route i'm going to render a template called books slash detail dot html and i'm going to inject a variable called id into this template so let's go ahead and create this template actually so inside this templates books i'm going to create a new file called details.html and i'm going to copy this content from the list.html and paste it here i'm going to write details of the book with id and remember we have actually injected a variable called id so i'm going to write details of the book with id and render this id variable into this template so i've got two routes inside this books controller which is a flask blueprint object and now this blueprint object is ready so how can i integrate this blueprint with my flask server so it's really simple go to the server.py and inside the server.py i've got the flask application ready at the variable called app right so just write app dot register blueprint and here you can register the blueprint variable so in our project we got our blueprint at source slash controller slash books dot pi and the variable of this blueprint is books controller right so i'm gonna write from source dot controllers dot books import books controller so this is the flash blueprint object right so app dot register blueprint books controller and url prefix is going to be books it's going to be actually slash books that's why i got the error so let's try to run this again all right so that's it i have created a blueprint in a file called source controllers books dot pi and i'm integrating that blueprint with my flask application just with a single line called app dot register blueprint and i'm telling that this blueprint will be mounted at a url prefix called books so that means if i go to localhost 5000 slash books slash you will render this template and if i go to url localhost 5000 slash books slash 10 i will get rendered this template because this blueprint is mounted at slash books so let me try to save this server file and let's go to our output and let's go to the home page first it's working and go to slash books you can see list of books which is the books slash list dot html template and books slash 12 and we got some error here template not find book slash detail dot html so let's see if the if you got the template correct the name of the template is not detail it's detail so let's try to rename this book slash detail dot html and let's try to reload this again now I got the details of the book with ID 12. So that's it guys, it's that simple. So this approach is something like a MVC controller, right? I've got a file called books.py and I'm mounting all the routes. I can mention get request, post request and everything. And in the end, I'm gonna register this controller with my main application. So in order to get a feel of MVC, let's try to create another section called authors, right? 
So let's try to create another controller called authors.py or another blueprint called authors.py. So I'm just create a new file and I'm going to write authors.py. So this is going to be another blueprint. So let's try to copy this books.py and paste it here. So I'm going to create a blueprint. So this time the blueprint will be authors, authors controller and the blueprint name would be authors. And instead of books controller, I'm going to give the annotation as authors controller and render template instead of rendering the books slash list i'm going to render authors slash list and author slash detail and i'm going to inject id variable into that but still i don't have these templates ready author slash list dot html and author slash detail dot html so let's go ahead and create those templates so in these templates i'm going to create a new folder called authors and let me try to just copy this detail dot html and list dot html and paste it here and details of author with id save this and details of list of authors and save this so i've got my author slash detail.html and author slash list.html also ready so in my authors.py i've created a blueprint called authors and i've got two routes called list and get item and the list endpoint will render author slash list.html and the get item endpoint will render author slash detail.html we got the blueprint ready but we have to mount it at the server right so let's go to the server.py and again register the blueprint i'm just going to copy paste this line and now let's try to import the authors controller so i'm going to write from source controller authors import authors controller and now let's try to register app dot register blueprint author controller and the url prefix will be authors so that's it now i have completely inserted a new blueprint just with a single line so if I had written those routes in the server.py, I had to write four functions and the length of the server.py, the lines of the code in server.py would have been very much. So now my server.py looks lean and very clean. And I have moved all the segregated routes into these controllers like books controller, authors controller. So it's mimicking just like a MVC. So let's try to check how this works. Let's go to the browser and see the output. So let's go to the home page first, localhost 5000, it works. And let's go to the authors page now. So let's go to the authors, it works, the list of authors. And uh, let's go to an ID called 15, details of author with ID 15. So that's it guys. This is how you can use Flask blueprints to segregate your routes and move them to another files and keep your server.py clean. All right, so now let's go to another important part of using blueprints, which is URL generation. How can you generate a URL? that points to this list function in this books blueprint it's actually really simple so let's try to go ahead and do that inside this home.html which is the main home page let's try to give a link to the list of books that means the list page of the books controller so let's try to create an anchor tag and the href would be url for and instead of just giving the function name you have to give the blueprint name dot function name and the name of the blueprint of the books controller is books dot list so this is the list function inside the books controller you can see inside the books.py the name of the controller is books and the name of the function is list so i have given inside the home.html url for books.list it's that simple so now the url for the list route inside the books blueprint is generated and let's try to give this name as books and let's try to copy paste this line and now let's try to give a link to the list of authors url for authors dot list and let's try to name it as authors so let's try to save this and let's try to save the server.py and let's try to reload our home page you can see books and authors so if i click on the books url you can see localhost 1500 slash books so if i click the authors link you can see localhost 1500 slash authors so just by using url for blueprint name dot function name you can generate the url for the route inside the blueprint all right when i go to the books page i have to give some navigation to go to the home page again so let's try to do that so inside the books slash list dot html let's try to create a link here so i'm going to create an anchor tag and inside the link of that anchor tag i'm going to write url for and here i'm going to write just index because the home page is actually located inside the server.py file directly under the application and the name of the function is index that's why i've written url for directly indexed that means flask will search for the index function directly mounted under the app but not a blueprint and here let's write back to home so let's try to 
reload this and see you got the link back to home page and it's directed to the index function which is the home page let's try to copy paste the same thing inside the authors list also so that you can have a navigation link to go back to the home page inside the list page so let's go to the authors page again and here you got the link to the home page but inside this list of books let's try to create a dummy list of books so that i can go to the detail page of that books so inside the books.list.html i'm going to create a dummy list so i'm going to create an unordered list and inside the unordered list i'm going to create a list item and inside that list item i'm going to give a anchor tag and say item one or something like a book one and the url would be url for i'm going to write dot get item i can even write books dot get item but it's redundant because i'm providing a url for get item function inside the same blueprint so you can see inside books.py i've got a function called get item and this list.html is generated by the books blueprint right so to provide the url for the function inside the same blueprint you just can write dot get item so this is like a relative blueprint path so if you are inside the books blueprint get item will point out to the get item function in the books blueprint and if you are in the author's blueprint url for dot get item will point out to the get item function inside the author's blueprint so let's try to give a url parameter because this takes a url parameter called id and i'm going to give an id called one so let's try to copy paste this list item again so that i can create another list item i'm going to write id2 book2 and let's try to copy this same another list and paste it in the list.html of the authors and i'm going to name this as author1 and author2 notice that i'm not changing the url for because i'm pointing to the get item inside the author blueprint so this is the advantage of using relative url paths because you can reuse the page content in multiple blueprints all right now let's try to save the server.py so let's try to go to the books page so if i click on the book one i'm going to the page for the books detail page with id one and if i go back and click on book two i'm going to have the detail page of the book with id two because the url for the get item function with id equal to two is being generated like using url for dot get item id equal to one and id equal to two but inside the detail page there should also be a link to go to the list of books right so let's try to do that inside the detail page let's try to create a hyperlink i'm going to create a hyperlink and the url would be url for the list page again so i'm going to write dot list and the text would be back to list let's try to copy this hyperlink and paste it in the same books dot detail also save this and now let's try to reload this page we got back to list and it's going to the list of books and if i go to the home page and go to the authors page and click on some author detail and click on back to list i'm going to the list of authors here also we are using the relative url i'm using the url for dot list inside the books detail and authors detail but it's understanding to go to the list page of the books and authors because i've given relative url paths so that's it guys that's how you can create urls for the blueprint routes if you use dot at the beginning that means you are pointing out to a function inside the same blueprint but if you are pointing out directly to the function name that means you are pointing out to the route directly mounted under the application and if you are writing url for something like blueprint dot function name you are basically addressing the route inside a blueprint so it's that simple to generate urls using flask blueprints so that's it guys using flask blueprints we are able to create a modular application in minutes and the code looks really organized and it can be easily understandable by the peer developers you can see i already created a blog post on using flask blueprints for creating modular mvc like web applications i've also given you the source code so that you can copy paste and practice it in your own computer i've also given you the reference to the official flask blueprints documentation so be sure to check out the link of this blog post in the description of this video please feel free to provide your valuable feedback or ask any questions in the comments section hope you like this video guys thank you for watching peace